Yep. So, no, this is, I have about 400 hours in this game. It's more than my first time. I've seen credits before. <laughs> but, uh, no, this is not my first time. Why doesn't pressing enter on that screen anymore take you to the next one? I swear it used to in the old UI. I'm streaming, Isolate. So there's people watching who've never played this game before. So because I'm a considerate streamer who is nice to people who um, have maybe never seen the game before, yes, I read the text. <laughs> Clearly, yes. Got one grenade. I can just buy a weird artifact and do that. No problem. I don't know, it's, it's weird being asked if it's my first time, genuinely. It's just a weird question to get. No, I've been screaming people need to buy this game for years and nobody listens to me and it makes me sad. You have wine? That's weird to see. You don't usually have wine. either to or near the end when the spindle line was added. Um, yeah, no, I've gotten to, like, I don't know. I, I, I've seen the credits that you get after you get into the coffin in the room at the end of the thing when you finish the thing at the tomb of the thing, and then the game ends, and then you wake up in the other world, and then you go to the other thing, and then you talk to that one guy, and they say, the game hasn't been continued, and then they added the big weird crystal zone, which wasn't in the game the last time I saw credits. Is this mostly a keyboard game? It's a mouse game, it's a keyboard game, it's a controller game. I think they're porting it to iPad. But I play as a keyboard game. But, like, all, all, these, all these buttons are clickable. You, you can just... I'd have to turn mouse movement on, but like you can play entirely with the mouse. Will it play on a toaster? Uh, depends on how powerful your toaster is. <laughs> I actually don't know. I haven't looked at the games like. Uh, I mean, it'll run on four gigs of RAM, one gigahertz, or faster SSE2 instruction set support CPU, and uh, needs Windows 7. So as long as you have Windows 7, you're fine. Yeah, probably. I, I mean, does it have? No, I, it's it's only Windows. I don't think it actually has any Mac support. So you'd, you'd have... Oh, no, wait. No, it does. Okay, so it will run on Linux. So... And SteamOS. And Mac. So... I guess, like, in theory, yeah. Am I playing on the beta branch? Yeah. Which is why I have the icons down at the bottom. I have a slight memory leak. It's fine. That's <laughs> but no, I, I read all the dialogue for people watching. Oops, that's the wrong one. Except for if I've already done that dialogue once that day, then... He wants copper wire. Okay. Let's go do that again. I didn't even finish, like, looking around there. <laughs> Let's wait until morning. 
Oh, wow, that's a... Not quite an out of... level thing, but you could kill me pretty easily. Be careful about you. Gotta wait for my laser charges to be back up before I really do much. Um, yes, I did actually equip that sword. Just needed to check that. Why did I opt for the vortex mutation? Because it's fun. Uh, because I like having the droid recoiler guaranteed without having to find it. And also, I don't like the random quests that you get in the other options. The other options, like, half of the quests, like, I've gotten enough quests on the random villages that are literally not completable that I don't do the random ones anymore. I, I don't care if they're, like, better. If you're a more advanced player, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to me. It's just really, really, really annoying for three or four charges. Getting a quest where it's just like... Yop exists no matter what, but it's ruins. <laughs> Unless they've changed that. But I don't like the random quests that you get if you don't start in Yoppa. I find them unpleasant. A number of times it's like, go find this location in the middle of fuck nowhere. It's like, yeah, absolutely not. I'm never doing that again. So half the time, like, when I don't start in Yop, I find myself cheating around the quests, which I don't like doing, so. Like, just turning on the wishes and just wishing them away, which is, um, Caves of Cud terminology for dev tools. <laughs> Literally, like, using... Oh man, it rusted my fucking carbide so you son of a Well, I'm without a weapon. I don't like that. I mean, I have the shitty bronze dagger, which is fine. Hey. You've never had unfinishable quests? No? Good for you. It's not that they're unfinishable necessarily, it's just they're really annoying to finish. Like, the ones where it's like, you need to find the farm that's two parasangs east of this location, or within this amount of this location, and it's in the mountains, and then you go two to the east, and there's just a rock wall there, and I, ha and I don't have digging claws, and I don't want to dig through it, and I try to walk around, and then I just wander around in the fucking mountains for 40 minutes. Like, yeah, no, I'm, it's happened to me enough times, I just don't want to do it again. It's make maybe one in five that it happens, but it's it's enough that I just don't do it. That kind of annoyance is just like not worth my time. I really wish my little duder here would automatically pick up stuff from the ground. The Battle of Quamas Hollow, Delexis the second fought to subjugate unshelled reptiles. He wielded He wielded an unfamiliar rifle with such skill that it became forever known as the Unfamiliaricus Sun Shelled Blight. Hmm. That's a cool little item. I would like to go back and pick that up, thank you. Unless I already did. Nope, just trash. I pick up that dagger. No, I did not. Where was it on the ground? I'm hitting Dwarf Fortress hotkeys. <laughs> Why am I doing that? There it is. No, where that was. I don't think I've ever actually taken the underground river to Red Rock until later when they actually like send you there. Cause there's a quest later in the game where they send you to that river. But I mean, it's still there even 
if you don't start in Yappa. I just, I just don't like the random quests. Literally that simple. I would assume it's a beta thing. Hmm, well, that's awkward. I'm elsewhere now. 13 strata deep. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Excuse me. Well, that was fun while it lasted. I mean, I, I could have could have eaten the what you might call it, but then I was thirteen strata deep. Fuck that. <laughs> Wait, no, not presets. Last. <sighs> not having a good day, eh? <laughs> Visit Millil. Oh, it's that bit of history. I've seen that location before, at least that name. Yeah, I have no idea when they changed it to 32 drams per water skin nicely. I don't read the patch notes super closely. No, it's not. Oh, I mean, like, the build is fine. I'm just making horrible decisions. <laughs> Whoops. We could just go to Red Rock, Rock first this time. Because clearly, like, Going that direction ain't working. Wow! Mushroom forest at Red Rock? Hmm. Fungus ridden goat. Rid, ridden goat, goat. Might end up being a Friends of Fungi run if I'm not careful. Be okay with that. I don't think I've ever seen red rock covered in fungus like this. I literally was trying to make a campfire and hit the wrong button again and uh, turned on my shield. which set off quantum jitters. <laughs> Ali Astra, thank you very much for the raid. First raid of the day. Round of beers for the raiders, chat. I also, like, didn't buy anything this time. Hey, kitty cat. Off growling. A kitty a pet. Shies away, Sag. It's a pretty quick way to level up, though. You brought your own beer with you? What, what you drinking? I also kind of miss the older Red Rock. I liked when Red Rock was just straight up old rogue. Like, I get it, these rounded rooms are nicer, but I don't know, I liked the rogue homage.
Oh, I like stouts. Stouts can be tasty. But how's things, Aliastra? What were you up to today? Welcome to some cud. for all the charges to be up. Five charges are up again, moving again. I mean, it's only fast-paced because I'm hitting buttons quickly, and I'm only hitting buttons quickly because I've died a couple times, so I'm being impatient. But it's not actually fast-paced. I mean, it's as fast-paced as you want it to be. It's turn-based. But like I said, I'm being very careless. Part of why I've died a bunch, but, you know, frustration do that to you. But, I mean, it is in the same, you know, genre as all those games you just mentioned, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, naturally. I mean, isn't that how, like, like any roguelike speedrunner is born? You just die a bunch, and so you hit the buttons faster. And then eventually you just get good enough at hitting the buttons fast enough in the right order that it stops mattering. <laughs> I mean, see, it's the ants that, that are really, truly terrifying there. Graffitied strange tubes. Truly strange tubes. A puzzling artifact consisting of some randomly arranged tubing. Graffiti is scrawled across the surface, and it reads, I wish you had intervened earlier. We have an unfinished sculpture, and the wet paints of the earth clay slag, chrome, and dye, and slouch the a half idea with material weight. The transformation is arrested through indissection in, in or neglect. Strange furniture, a puzzling artifact that seems to be some kind of strange furniture, which is rusted, and a rusted metal workbench, obviously rusted, and an arc sconce, which is lit. Crafting mats and some torches that I don't need and a plant that wants to kill me. There's another knoll. Seeds bitter. We're about to get hit by an ad. I will not do anything while the ad is running. Wait until I level up and then the hotkey for this spell that I'm using changes. And then I accidentally use the wrong spell. Because <laughs> I'm currently hitting AD. When I level up, it's going to rejigger my hotkeys because this game does that for some reason. I have no interest in Baldur's Gate 3. Everybody else is playing that game. I don't need to. There are games that uh, need streams by much smaller teams that I'll be playing. I have no interest in playing Baldur's Gate 3. It looks like a fantastic video game, but there are bajillions of people playing it, and you can go ask them for their opinions on it. I'm not much of a D&D &D guy to begin with. I don't really have any history with the franchise or that type of game, even. So, yeah. I'm not saying the Caves of Cud is a better game than Baldur's Gate 3. But it's a game. And so is Baldur's Gate 3.
I'm very confused about the question in general on my Discord. I find that people who like a game, or when a game comes out that's really big and popular, they want to know everybody's opinion on it. And they want that opinion to jive or meld with their own. Um, so all I can really say when people ask me about what I think about Baldur's Gate 3 is, well, I'm not going to echo what other people are saying because I think that that's disingenuous and my dagger just rusted, so I literally have no damage sources now. Just have a hand axe, which sucks. Um, so that would just be like... Dis like incorrect of me to tell people that, which, you know, wouldn't be the case. We got some free wine. Look at that. Statue of a da of Dagon. Is Dagon the orator domineers the West apps with his brazen pose and his golden coronet shines splendidly in the fire's shine. Although I will say it has been very interesting seeing a, a lot of very much not RPG people playing that game. Granulated soft powder. Oh, I see. It's fine with Sam Mask. Okay. I was like, what the heck is that on the ground? The blue stuff is water, and uh, it does slow you down because technically you're swimming when you're in the water. Currently, I'm looking for a purple spider. Ow. Giant wet centipede. That's very pleasant. Hmm. Let's remove that. Now we're back to where we were when I died, so I'm gonna start playing a little slower. Level up strength by one. And I'm gonna grab my tinkering, which is basically the crafting skill in the game. I'm just gonna grab wayfaring because I don't actually currently have a weapon, which makes me get lost less easily. I grab it for hills, canyons, and mountains, and for the canyons, and for the flower marshes, or the flower fields, which basically just, like, when I'm fast traveling on the overworld, there's a lower percent chance that I'm going to get lost, and getting lost basically means you have to find your way again, and yay, a two-handed carbide battle axe. I will gladly take that. In leather armor, I will also equip that. Where did that go? There you are. What? He's attacking me, but I can't see. There you are. Hmm. Here, space time this. Please don't move directly downwards. Whew! Okay, I just teleported that guy to God knows where. Oh, very, 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 very high. I, assuming you're referring to, like, getting trash out of literally everything and turning it into crafting mats, it's I, I like to get that as quickly as possible. Unless you're talking about a thing that I'm not aware of or misthinking is something else. You're also asking somebody who doesn't play this game even remotely seriously about serious strats, so it's a really, 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 really good way to get uh, non-answers from me because I play this game very casually. Oh, look at this. We got a flat boy. Disliked by the wandering lamb of Campbell's order for selling a map of their vaults to adventurers. How dare you? 
yes, I'm aware of what scavenging does, but I'm not sure what skill Metsus is referring to. So if you could help me discern what skill that Metsus is referring to, that would be useful, instead of inferring a skill that I'm well aware of what it do. Oh, that one? I mean, so here's the thing, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that, that's, that's my answer. When you root through trash, you mean like the one that gives you locations? That's not really secrets. Those are just locations. Because if you're talking about secrets, those are like the, the shopkeepers and whatnot that are hidden. I really love it when people are just like, hey, dude who plays this game very casually. What's your priority on this skill? Fuck if I know. Should it be higher? <laughs> I, I go for things that I think are fun. I, I don't particularly care. And it changes like every single time I play, so... Turn on sprint. I mean, I know like a dozen different ways of finding secrets. So that particular one, can't say I've ever really prioritized it. I have light manipulation to pop back on, there it is. Let's bubble you. I'm still around, I swear. No, you're not. Quit lying to me. Or go away. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's good to see you. Hope you've been well. I love how I could throw a glow sphere at something. That's really funny. Let's just pop a torch up so I can see. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can even kill this thing. Eat the witchwood. You can walk left. Whenever that pops up, I always immediately assume that I just died. Um, my reputation with Snapjaw has decreased by a lot. It's okay, they already hated me. Uh, Wandering Lamb still hates me. That's fine. Those villagers uh, now suddenly very hate my, very much hate me. So I can't wait for them to suddenly kill me. Am I still poisoned? Seems like the poison's worn off. Heal up. Um, no, it clearly didn't, because I got poisoned by it, right? So, no, it doesn't. It goes through the force field. But, uh, RSG, thank you very much for the nice months. Hope you've been well, dude. You only have your phone. Moving across country can be a bit rough. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I, I assume that you've been without, without PC for a while. way because I have no hand weapon currently well I, I do I should probably just equip that carbide battle axe again which I unequipped when I put on that other thing wait wait hold on do I have two carbide battle axes or am I going insane oh I see right there, there we go Ash animation is so cool. I don't like it because it makes me miss the way uh, night light manipulation worked before. Because previously you used to get loot from things that you killed with light manipulation. Now you don't, and that annoys me. Oopsies. I don't know why I always do that by default now. Try to pick up bodies. Oh. Arrow. Behind me, I didn't even see you. Like little arrows, you can see little arrows sticking to the dirt.
I'm famished. Well, that's concerning. I really need to, like, rebind that to what I'm used to. I'm very, very used to having uh, campfires bound to seven, not two on the keyboard, which it always redefaults to when I make a new character now, which I don't like. I still like, I, I miss the old UI so bad. Even though, like, by and large, people hated it. <laughs> I miss the old UI so bad. I know I could go back to using it, but then every single person and their mother's like, why are you using this UI and not the superior new UI? And it's like, well, congratulations. You guys have annoyed me into using the UI I like less. Nope. You, it used to just, I don't even, I don't even think it destroyed the corpse previously. It used to just, like you used to just get everything. Like maybe it just destroyed the corpse, but you used to get loot. Now you don't get loot. You don't get anything bodies that have been lazed, which is kind of a shame. Well, I mean, that and, like, the old UI looked like this, right? Like, it fit these screens. Now these screens just feel all off because this screen doesn't fit those screens. It's odd to me. I will take that, but I don't need to carry it. The stun rod, which has a small trinket in it. I might actually use the stun rod. It's a Spencer's. Let's look at what that is. I think I know what that does, but... I have two stun rods. Hold up. Let's equip you. With an iron mace with suspensers. What the heck is a suspenser? I did with suspensers when powered this item is weightless. Huh! That's nifty. Also, apparently I was carrying two items of trash, which is interesting. <laughs> Do people actually look at the tier qualities of those things? Like, looking at tier lists on wikis is pain to me. Never fully understood why people do that. There you go, bud. Build this boater for you. Three strata deep, bottom... Or the next floor down is where we're headed. Yes, I would like to walk to the nearest stairway down. Why can't I walk past you? It's because you're stuck. I will zap the bat to death then. Yeah, but like, you remember that? <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, my brain doesn't work that way. I don't retain that kind of information shot me. Seed whizzes by. In the northwest. Right, I'm going to turn force bubble on. We've got you, the glow rate, and then this thing. Which I don't actually... Oh, no, you can turn the tile set off to this game. It's not... I don't think it's got anything to do with the old UI leaking through. All right, let's, um... Man, I'm so tempted to just put a... Vortex on him. But then it might suck up the Gershling. Well, yoink. Eat you. As I walk this way. <laughs> oh no. Don't you get sucked up by the black hole, you stupid spoder. I need you. You're important for a quest. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
Ah, oh, shit. Dang it! Oh, there, there, there we go. You're back. Am I just punching it? No, I'm hitting it with my stun rod. That would have been very funny, though. Ah, oh, come on. I'm being way too careless. Oh, hey, it didn't confuse me. That's interesting. I don't even know if that counts because it turned to ashes. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Uh, there's no good beer in Vegas. At least no good beer that's cheap enough to be worth buying that I'm willing to travel to. Oh, yeah. It doesn't? Thanks, Dad, for telling me. I... Okay. I sleep. I have a no backseating tag? Uh, all questions I ask are rhetorical. So, stop. Please. <laughs> like, I like having you in my chat. You're nice. But, stop. Unless I blatantly ask for assist assistance. I don't want it. Okay? So when you're just like, it doesn't. Just then go play yourself, okay, mate? <laughs> like, that's that's how I operate, and that's how I will always operate. Okay? If, if you're here to hang out and chill and watch the stream, fucking phenomenal. Let's do that. If you're here to tell me how to play, go play the video game. And that's why I have the no backseating tag. And so that I don't need to inform you of this verbally. Let me fuck around, find out, make mistakes, and have a good time. That's why I play video games. All right, Basta, you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out today. No, that's totally fair, and you can be excited. But your excitement doesn't need to turn you into an instruction manual. Or even worse, a spoiler manual. If I want to be spoiled, I'll look at the wiki. If I want instructions, I will look at the wiki. I'm a big kid. And in the past, I've been quite good at this game. But just constantly being force-fit information I didn't ask for is not fun or an enjoyable experience. I actually wonder, do I still have that bound? Well, it will never get more attention. I think it's getting about as much attention as it ever will, because it's never going to get mainstream acceptance because it's this type of game, so. Which is a shame.
Oh, there's another one. <laughs> That's concerning. I keep sucking them up in the intergalactic vacuum cleaners. <laughs> That's very inconvenient. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I literally turned my shield on to start zapping it, and then it quantum jitters kicked. <laughs> That's why you take quantum jitters, because they add unexpected comedy. Um, let's read the history of this. What is it? Uh, it is a gas grenade. Excellent. I'm carrying too much to move. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's throw away some studded armor. There we go. Oy. Critical hit, hey? No, I'm not trying to suck them up with the quantum galactic vacuum cleaner. I mean, it's an unfortunate side. Of There's another one. God friggin' balls! And now I'm elsewhere, so I guess that's cool. Where am I? Three strata deep in the subterranean jungle. Awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, cuts nothing if not exciting. All right, let's go somewhere else now. 23 strata deep. Okay, well, I teleported a puddle next to me. Uh, this seems bad. Yeah, I'm dead. That's a juice sap. Hmm. It's been nice knowing you, chat. I don't even know if stun ga gas grenades uh, affect these things. Rut row, indeed. Hmm. I don't actually think there's anything I can do. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't damage them. Well, that one just got impaled by a spike, which I'm pretty sure that could one-shot me. <laughs> if I don't die this turn, this is a minor miracle. I'm not dead. Yet. Holy shit, I'm not dead yet. Okay, well, you're dead now. Holy shit, I'm not dead yet. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we're, we're, we're fucked, by the way, guys. Um, I could turn Force Bubble on. Why didn't the Intergalactic Vacuum Cleaner turn on that time? That would have been very convenient. That's a gyro humor. Um, it's impossible for me to kill it. At least the juice saps are just tough. Um, that's also impossible for me to kill it. Oh boy. Um. Eh. Screaming incoherently. I really want to look inside that chest, but I should probably just keep running. Uh, <laughs> the 
Okay, what even are you? I think I know what you are. Oh yeah, it's an urchin belcher. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Uh, urchins stick to the slum slick tissue of a cavernous mouth while soft rayed fins drag the mammoth fish body across the ground. Um, the fact, once again, the fact that I'm not dead yet is a minor miracle. Man, why couldn't I run into something friendly? Um, that is a cylindric head that is in anything, anything in this cave could one shot me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's a cylindric head is embellished with a frilly chest whose symbolism is unknown. It's, it dutifully marches on a pair of chrome pistons towards its final purpose. Dutifully, he says. All right. Um, ah! Okay. Well, I can sprint again, so that's good. And that is a leg remover. Yeah, a tart beard. Uh, rolling scales tessellate his monstrous slouching form, and motes of condescent uh, sipple his swollen chin. His tail is stretched and cracked with advanced age. Why are we here? Because I fell into an intergalactic vacuum cleaner. Uh, that's why. Everything is pain. And everything wants to kill. Oh. <laughs> I was bitten to death by a monkey. How much damage did it do to me? Oh, it, it did six times my health with like one bite. I mean, to be fair, Quartz Baboon's not exactly a normal monkey. And also, to answer your question from way earlier, why did I take uh, Quantum Jitters and Vortex? Because shit like this happens. And it's good when I don't have a lot of time and don't plan to get super deep into a Caves of Cud Run, but just want to fuck around and have a good time. Because my god, that shit's entertaining. Steep for the stay for the deep metaphysical questions of like why are we here? <laughs> Is that the deep metaphysical question? I suppose. Well, we'll consider that the warm-up runs for the week chat, and um, tomorrow.